Hello, this is your Math Tutor, Sir EJ, and welcome again for another Math Tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about the percentile rank. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, calculate percentile rank for ungroup and group data. And letter B, value accumulated knowledge as means of new understanding. When we say percentile rank, it is typically defined as the proportion of scores in a distribution that a specific score is greater than or equal to. For instance, if you receive a score of 95 on a mathematics test and this score was greater than or equal to the scores of 88% of the students taking the test, then your percentile rank would be equal to 88. Let's have an example first for the percentile rank for ungrouped data. The Department of Labor and Employment, or DOLE, in partnership with the Bureau of Local Employment, or BLE, revealed in their latest labor market trends, released which jobs presently earn the highest salaries in the Philippines for the year 2019. So this table shows the job and their estimated monthly salary. So let's determine the percentile rank of civil engineer salary among the other jobs. To determine the percentile rank of civil engineer salary among the other jobs, the first step we need to do is to make sure that the given values are arranged from highest to lowest or vice versa. Since the given has already been arranged, the next step is to identify the given. We will be identifying the total number of jobs that can be seen on our table. So all in all, we have 10 jobs, so n will be equal to 10. And then after that, we will be identifying jobs which has a salary less than the salary of the civil engineers. So number of values below x, so we have civil engineers, so the salary of a civil engineer is equal to 68,957. So how many of these jobs has a salary which is less than the salary of the civil engineer, less than 68,957. So we have the actuaries, which has a salary of 60,477, computer programmers, 52,331, system analysis and designers, 51,069, computer engineers, 49,335, Accountants, 47,756. Production supervisors and poor men, 47,101. Statistician, 41,480. So we will count it all in all. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the number of values below x is equal to 7. And then after that, we will be using the formula in computing the percentile rank for the ungrouped data, in which the percentile of x is equal to the number of values below x all over n times 100%. We will be substituting the corresponding value. We have the number of values below x is equal to 7 all over the value of n, the total number of jobs in the given, which is equal to 10, times 100%. And then we will simplify this by multiplying 7 times 100, that is equal to 700, all over copy 10, and then 700 divided by 10 is equal to 70. Therefore, the percentile rank of civil engineer's salary among the other jobs is equal to 70%. Let's solve our next example. This time, let's find how many percent of the jobs has a monthly salary which is lower than 52,331. So we will be identifying the given. So the number of jobs is equal to 10. And then after that, 
the number of values below x. So we will be counting the numbers which is less than 52,331. And that is uh, 51,069, 49,335, 47,756, 47,101, and 41,480. So by counting this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 jobs which has a monthly salary which is lower than 52,331. After we have identified the given, we will be using the formula for computing the percentile rank of ungrouped data in which we have percentile of x is equal to the number of values below x all over n times 100%. We will be substituting the corresponding value we have the number of values below x, which is equal to 5, all over the value of n, which is equal to 10, times 100%. We will be simplifying this by multiplying 5 times 100, that is equal to 500, copy over 10. And then 500 divided by 10 is equal to 50. Therefore, 50% 50 of the jobs has a monthly salaries of 52,331 or less and 50% of the jobs has a monthly salary of 52,331 pesos or more. Now to compute for the percentile rank for the group data, we will be using this formula. Percentile rank is equal to 100 over n times the quantity p minus lp times f sub p all over i plus cf sub b, wherein pr is equal to the percentile rank. So the answer will be in percentage form. And then p is equal to the raw score or value per which one wants to find a percentile rank. And then lb is equal to the lower boundary of the percentile class. f sub b is equal to frequency of the percentile class and then CFP is equal to the cumulative frequency of all the values below the critical value, and then N is equal to the total frequency. So let's have an example. Find how many percent of the scores are greater than the cumulative frequency of 37 in the ESP test scores of 50 students. So using the given table, we have the class interval, the frequency, the lower boundary, the less than cumulative frequency, the value of the class width, which is equal to 5, and the value of n, which is equal to 50. So these are the data that we will be needing to compute for the percentile rank of the group data. So after constructing the table, the next step is to identify the percentile rank class. To do that, we will be looking at the class interval which of the following class interval contains the cumulative frequency of 37, and that is 36 to 40. So 37 is within 36 to 40, so our percentile rank class is located on the third class. After we have identified the percentile rank class, we will be now using the formula for the percentile rank of the group data. We have percentile rank is equal to 100 all over n times the quantity p minus the lower boundary of the percentile rank class times the frequency of the percentile rank class times the interval plus the less than cumulative frequency below the percentile rank class. We will be substituting the corresponding value. We have 100, then the value of n is equal to 50 times the quantity the value of p is equal to 37 this one so we will be substituting 37 here minus the lower boundary so our percentile rank class is located on the third class so the lower boundary of the third class is equal to 35.5 times the frequency of the percentile rank class so we have 15 so substitute 15 here all over the value of i which is equal to 5 plus the less than commutative frequency below the percentile rank class 
So to get the less than cumulative frequency of the percentile rank class, we will be looking at the less than cumulative frequency below the third class. And that is the less than cumulative frequency of the second class, which is equal to 22, the number below 37. So substitute 22 here, and then we will simplify 100 divided by 50 is equal to 2, and then 37 minus 35.5 is equal to 1.5, copy 15 all over 5 plus copy 22. And then after that, bring down 2, 1.5 times 15 divided by 5, and then add the answer by 22 is equal to 26.5, and then 2 times 26.5 is equal to 53. Therefore, the percentile rank is equal to 53%. And if we will interpret this, 53% of the scores of the students are less than the cumulative frequency of 37, while 47% of the scores are greater than the cumulative frequency of 37. Let's have our last example. Using the previous table, if one of the students get a score of 41, what is her percentile rank? So the first thing we need to do is to identify the percentile rank class. And we will be looking at the class interval, which of the class interval contains 41. And that is 41 to 45. So 41 is within the score of 41 to 45. So the percentile rank class is located on the fourth class. So this class is our percentile rank class. After that, we will be using the formula of the percentile rank for the group data. So we have 100 all over n times the quantity, quantity p minus the lower boundary, then the frequency of the percentile rank class all over the class width plus the cf sub p. We will be substituting the corresponding value. So we have percentile rank is equal to 100 all over the value of n is equal to 50. Then the value of p is equal to 41 minus the lower boundary of the fourth class. So this is the percentile rank class. So we will be looking at its lower boundary, which is equal to 40.5. Then the frequency of the percentile rank class. So the frequency of the fourth class is equal to 5. So substitute 5 here all over the class width or the interval which is equal to 5 plus the less than cumulative frequency below the percentile class. So we have 42. This is the less than cumulative frequency of the percentile rank class. So the less than cumulative below the fourth class is the less than cumulative frequency of the third class, which is equal to 37. So substitute 37 here. Then we will simplify. So we have percentile rank is equal to 100 divided by 50 is equal to 2 times the quantity 41 minus 40.5 is equal to 0 0.5 times 5 all over 5 plus 37. And then... After that, bring down 2, then 5 over 5, this will be cancelled out. So we have 0 0.5 plus 37, that is equal to 37.5. And then we will multiply these numbers, 2 times 37.5, this is equal to 75. So the percentile rank is equal to 75%. If we will interpret this, 75% of the scores of the students are less than 41, while 25% of the scores of the students are greater than 41. 